Hi again, STAT students. In this video, I am going to show you how you can take data and make a histogram with it. So again, we're using the social interaction data that was presented on page eight of the text. And I've highlighted the column. What I'm going to do again is go up to Analyze and Descriptive Statistics and over to frequencies like I had done before. And you'll notice that over on the right hand side we have three choices. We have statistics, charts, and formats. Well I'm interested in seeing a graph so I'm going to click charts and you can see that I can make a bar chart, a pie chart, or a histogram. Which remember a histogram is different from a bar graph. And also, if I wanted to, which later on when we get into talking about the normal curve, um, you could click this so it would show the normal curve on your histogram as well. But for right now, I'm just going to leave it as histogram. And I'm going to click Continue. And then OK. And what happens is, again, I get my frequency table that I had earlier, but also I get this nice little bar graph, not excuse me, a histogram. There's a big difference between a bar graph and a histogram. And you'll notice that on the horizontal axis it's talking about the social interactions and then on the vertical axis it's talking about the frequency. Right now my interval width appears to be about 5 and I want to show see what happens when I change the bin width so have more values in a particular bin so in order to do that all I need to do is notice how it says double click to activate down there so I'm gonna double click and here's what I want is this up here this properties table or properties pop-up that I got here and so I am going to, I've got binning up here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to change it from automatic, which SPSS automatically bins things for you, but let's go ahead and make a custom bin. And also, um, notice how this bin starts over here at negative 1.5, which really, if we're talking about the number of social interactions, that really doesn't make a whole lot of sense. So I'm going to change my custom value for my anchor to zero because that was the smallest number that we had on our table. And then I am going to change my interval width. Instead of fives, let's go by tens and see what happens to my graph. All right, and you can see that the bin width is wider and the data is grouped more together. Now let's see if I change my interval width to 20. It's because of the fact that my bin width is a larger number, you can see that the individual data pieces are gone compared to before. So I'm going to go back to 10. And then, although there are directions in the doc sharing about how to copy and paste your graphs into a Word document, because you'll need to be doing this for your discussions and for your projects, if you have a snipping tool in Word, what you can go ahead and do, that's what I prefer to use rather than there is, I think, a place up here in SPSS where you can go ahead and just copy it. But I'm going to see if I can open up my snipping tool, which actually it's down here on the bottom already. And I'm going to get back to what I wanted to snip, which was my graph. And all I have to do is trace over it. There it is. And I can open up a Word document. I'll open up a new one. And then 
either right click and go paste or go control V then you'll notice that's pretty big I don't know about you but I you know you don't want to have your assignments be 10 pages long so you can just go ahead and click on the graph and then grab one of the corners and make it as small or as large as you would like to have on your word paper your word document there thanks and I hope that this has been helpful to show some of the features of SPSS let me know if you have any questions